Hey guys, welcome back to Cryptic Mining. Today I want to go over how to safely power your GPU mining rig. As you can see here, we have a power supply, we have a PCIe cable, we have a SATA cable, Milex cable, a cable that comes with your GPU riser, and we have a PCIe splitter cable. Now the first thing I want to talk about is your power supply. Now the power supply, depending on what you've got, it could be an ATX power supply, it could be a server power supply, this one here, as you can see, is rated to 2400 watts and has a 94% efficiency. Now that's cool, but as a rule of thumb for myself, for longevity of the components in your power supply, and in case something spikes, I always try to keep these at about 80%. Some people say 60%, but I always keep mine to 80% or below. And that's especially for those ATX power supplies. Usually, usually they're 80 gold, 80 bronze, uh, even 80 titanium, that means you should only be using 80% that are coming out of that, leaving that 20% gap because obviously you can't have a good consistent wattage coming through after that consistency, okay? Now, the next thing I want to talk about, which is a pretty important one, is this Molex cable. If we have a look at the GPU riser, This GPU riser has three different connections on it. So it has PCIe, Molex, and another PCIe adapter here. Now some of the older ones actually had Molex and SATA. Now the, the problem with SATA is, is that this, this bus here for your PCIe uses a constant 75 watts. And this cable, this SATA cable is only rated to 54 watts. So no matter what graphics card you add on to your GPU riser, you will not be able to power the graphics card sufficiently. The big issue with that is, is when the card is on here, it's going to try and pull that 75 watts regardless. And if it's trying to pull 75 watts out of this cable, which is only rated to 54 watts, and not just that, these pins, we don't know what these pins are rated. We don't know what the factory makes them to. We don't know the standards. So... All I want to say about these, this one is, is you don't use it, okay? Because you're going to risk your family, you could cause a fire, and it, it, it's a pretty risky business, okay? You're not, you won't get away with running a, a SATA cable on your um, GPU riser. The next one here is your Molex cable. So now, these are rated to run at 156 watts, I believe. Now that's cool. So this cable, the actual cable itself, can run 156 watts. But the issue with that is, is that there's no standard for these pins. I tried doing further research into this, but there's no standard for these pins to be rated to. So although this can handle 156 watts, these pins generally can't handle that much. Now you might be able to get away for a short amount of time running this on your GPU riser, but I wouldn't recommend keeping it on there as a constant thing, especially if you're mining 24 seven, you may run into a lot of issues and eventually this cable will melt and you will have pretty big issues with it. So that's all I really wanna say about the Molex cable. So just keep that in mind. Yes, it can run 156 watts, but these pins, there's no standard for these pins. You can't, you can't pick what kind of rating these pins actually have. Now they could be at 156 watts, but usually when you've got one of these cables, you have a few of these on there. And if you have like three hard drives on there, or you've got three lots of whole fans on there, this is more than capable of running it because you're not gonna go over that 156 watts over three different Molex connectors on the one cable. So I'll put that one aside. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is the cable that comes with your GPU riser. So yes, it has a PCIe connector on it to plug in to your GPU riser. The issue with this cable is, is it's powered by SATA. While this, whilst this is powered by a SATA cable, it's not, it's not, it's, this, it's really the same as using this cable here. So if you were to plug this SATA to this female SATA and then use this to power 
your GPU riser, you're going to run into the same issue because it's the same thing. These pins aren't rated. And the same as the one on your power supply, it's coming directly from your power supply. They haven't got a standard and they're not rated to a certain wattage. Now that means that even if you plug this onto your SATA cable, you're still only going to be able to achieve the 54 watts that the SATA is capable of. So the main thing I want to say about this cable is, is that if you got these with your GPU riser and you're using them at the moment, please, please take them off. Do not use them because it's not safe and you want to keep yourself and your family safe and you don't definitely want to burn out your rig because obviously you don't want to waste all that investment because of this cable. Right. Anyways, we'll move on to the next cable. So the next one is a PCIe. So this is a six pin to a six plus two pin. This has a rating of up to 288 watts, which is fine. Now, a lot of people will, you know, if you know about your cables, this cable here is actually rated to 400 watts. So the, these cables here are all 16 gauge cables. They're rated to 400 watts. That's a lot of power. And, and even though this cable says it's rated to 400 watts, the issue that we still have is that the pins that are inside of this PCIe connector are still at the standard of 288 watts across them. So that means even though this is 400 watts, you still don't want to go past that 288 watts. What this means though, if you were to use a 16 gauge cable is, is that yes, you'll be able to use this on your GPU riser, no worries. But if you go over that 288 watts, this cable won't melt, but your connectors to your GPU and to your GPU riser will. All right guys, so that brings me to this PCIe splitter cable. So this is an 18 gauge cable. Uh, obviously the standard for these pins are also the same as this other PCIe cable. So these are rated at 288 watts. But you remember this is split. So the biggest thing you need to remember about this cable is, is that even though you may connect it to your single PCIe cable and use it to power your riser and your graphics card, you can do that. But you need to remember that Regardless, you're still limited to 288 watts. So this is probably the most safest way to power your GPU riser by using a singular PCIe connector. Because in that way there, you're not going to go over the wattages required for this adapter. So as I said, this, this uses a constant 75 watts. Now in theory, if we were to use the GPU on this riser and we were to put this splitter cable into this graphics card, what happens is because this graphics card only uses about 130 watts at the max, we're only pulling that 130 watts through this 280, 288 watt cable. So how does that work? So down here, this is supplying 75 watts currently to the graphics card. Any wattage over that 75 watts is coming from your PCIe connector connected to your graphics card. Now there's one thing I've seen people do in the past, which I highly do not recommend, is what they do, they'll have two, two splitter cables and I'll have one going to the PCIe, oh sorry, to the GPU riser. And then I'll add another splitter cable to this end. Now what they do with that is, is that if their graphics card has two PCIe powering adapters, they'll put another splitter on here and add it to their graphics card. Now, you may be okay doing that depending on which graphics card you're using, as long as you're within the cable limits. But just for just for an example, if we if this was a RTX 3080, 
and you've powered this and you put another splitter on this cable to power this graphics card which has two connectors yes you could run that because you're going to be pulling 75 watts from here and it's usually if you set your card up right you only be pulling 230 watts through the entire cable which is fine but sometimes there's an issue with the graphics card itself and if there's an error while it's mining sometimes it will disregard the power limit that you have set and it can spike to its maximum wattage now for a rtx 3080 that's over 300 watts that means this cable cannot handle that amount of current going through it because the standard of these pins are 288 watt you're going to burn the cable and possibly cause a fire or you're going to be a, or you're going to melt your PCIe cable and your adapter on your graphics card. And obviously if you just started mining, the last thing you want to happen is to destroy this connection for your PCIe cable because then you're going to have to figure out how to replace it. Now some graphics cards from what I've seen on a video from Red Fox Miner lately, um, there's some cards out there that actually, these can be replaced quite easily. They're on here and then they have another couple of cables going to the board themselves. But cards like this one here, actually have this soldered to the board itself. And although these can be replaced, you don't wanna run into that issue to begin with. So guys, the main thing that I want to cover on this video is, is that SATA, bad. Don't use it, okay? Regardless if it's the one that came with your GPU riser or not, do not use it. Molex, you may be able to get away with it for a little bit, but I wouldn't recommend it. So the main thing is, is that you should always be pairing your GPU riser with a PCIe cable. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, if you think I've missed something, please put it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and be safe.